Hey everyone! It's a beautiful day to learn. In this channel, you will be learning about machine shorthand. So, if you're interested, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell button for notifications. Machine shorthand real-time transcription. Is it possible? Well, that is what we are going to talk for this video. So, uh, stay tuned for in this video it's going to be a standard real-time theory series so we we will be using another theory uh, we will use a book standard real-time theory book by Beverly Lewebline Ritter okay so are you ready learners let's start and before we proceed with the discussion Let's have it first, the question, what is machine shorthand? Okay, let's have a review. If you can recall, in my previous videos, I have uploaded uh, the definition of machine shorthand. So I'll just put the link above. But um, let's have a short review of what is machine shorthand. So, machine shorthand, as um, defined in this book, it is sometimes referred to as stenotypy. It is a system of phonetic writing which uses a compact keyboard consisting of 23 keys. So, two, uh, 21 letters, an asterisk, and a number bar. So, we have already discussed this in the previous video that I had. However, number bar was not included there that's why it was only 22 keys so basically 21 letters plus an asterisk so that's 22 keys and if we add the number bar so 23 keys in all it is also very important to take note of these two words of these terms we have the strokes and outlines so when we talk of stroke it means it is any key or key combination depressed on the stenotype machine at one time. So again, it is any key or key combination depressed on the stenotype machine at one time. So that is how we define stroke. While outline, outlines, the le uh, these are the letter combinations used to define a word. It is also referred to as notes. So outlines can also be referred to as notes. So let's have a, an example to better understand this. On the screen, you can see the word cat. So that's a hard sound because we are using uh, the k, the k for the c. Now let's compare or let's have a comparison between steno machine and QWERTY keyboard. So the st in the steno machine keyboard, how are we going to write the word cat is that is only composed of one stroke so you will put your finger on the initial k vowel a and final t press it one at one time or simultaneously then that is the word cat so one stroke one stroke only but for the qwerty keyboard we will put our finger first on c we press it and then we press another letter that is a and then we press another letter that is t to make the word cat so that would mean there are three strokes for the word cat when you use the qwerty keyboard compared to the steno machine keyboard which only has one stroke and that is one of the beauty of machine shorthand or shorthand writing so that was about the stroke. And this one this is an example of an outline or notes. So we can see on the left side the notes. That means or can be read as he sat and then you sat. So this example can be seen in my previous video. So just check out the playlist on machine shorthand lessons. In machine shorthand, or machine stenography speed and accuracy is very important speed because when dictation comes you can cope up with the verbatim with the speed of how the words are being spoken and accuracy accuracy because because if the words are 
typed incorrectly, then possible, possibly there will be negative consequences. Okay, especially that um, in if you are in court, then that will be a legal document. So it's very necessary that whatever you have typed or written there, it's the accurate words verbatim, included even the emotions of the person speaking it could be the defendant the witness and even the lawyer themselves okay now before answering the question if real-time transcription is possible let us first understand what is real-time transcription so real-time transcription is the instantaneous translation of stenotype notes let's check out the next video all right, most of us have the type to do our jobs, right? Yep. Some of us are faster than others. Some of us hunt and pack. But some of us are really, really fast. And then there's Mark Kisslingberry. He is, well, well, he's won the Guinness World Record, and he is considered the fastest in the world, the fastest court reporter in the world. He can type 360 words per minute. And you can find him and our own closed captioner, D. Baino, in a documentary called On the Record, a court reporting documentary. Take a look at Mark breaking the world record. Represented by counsel today? No. Have you ever been deposed before? Yes. On how many occasions? Once. Was that at a time when you were employed by the defendant? No. When was that deposition? I believe January of this year. Were you a personal litigant in that case? No, I was not. What was the subject matter of your testimony in that case? And I have a second paper here that is a new world record at 97.230%. Mark Kisslingberry. And that was Mark Kislingberry at 360 words per minute with 97.23% accuracy. So he won the Guinness Book of World Record. So what you can see on the screen, that is an example of a real-time transcription. So that is a real-time transcription. And so the question, machine shortened real-time transcription, is it possible? So the answer is a big yes, but the question is how? So with the use of computer-aided transcription or CAT. CAT means that the transcription from notes to English, which includes the typing of the finished transcript, which is performed by the computer. So uh, computer-aided transcription is... Um, it translates whatever you have uh, written in your machine. So it could be done um, real time or it could also be done um, later on. Isn't that a good thing? Yes, that's it. However, the single biggest concern in CAT is conflicts. So the computer lacks the judgment of a human being. So if the reporter uses the same outline for more than one English word or phrase, so the reporter's dictionary will contain several English equivalents for the same outline. And so when the computer encounters such an outline, it cannot determine which English word was intended. And it will therefore include all of the English equivalents. This is then known as an ambiguity or conflict and appears on the computer terminal as a choice. So the human must determine the correct word. So in this way, it will take time or um, you will have to consider when you transcribe whether which among the words provided is the exact word that you meant. So for example, when uh, for the word read, so we have their initial R, long E, and final D. This outline has two uh, words that could be associated with that. So we have the read, um, R-E-A-D, and the read, R-E-E-D. So when you use cat, how will the computer determine which is which? So yes, you may review and proofread, but how about if you will use it real time? Notice that in the video that I presented earlier, real-time transcription is automatically at that moment, instantaneously, the words written in the shorthand machine will be reflected on the screen. So there will be no more time for review. That is why Stened real-time theory exists because it is a conflict-free theory. And we are going to use 
that theory for the rest of these lessons. So I am doing this standard real-time theory series and I hope you will also learn with me the new theory and how it differs from the, from the previous theory that we discussed. So, standard theory, uh, standard real-time theory by Beverly Lueblin Ritter. It is termed as conflict-free theory because it is a system of writing whereby every word has a unique outline. So, there will no more be two or more words for a certain outline because each outline or each word has a unique outline. That's the term conflict-free. And lastly, we have here three important elements for real-time writing. First, clean. Second, consistent. And third, conflict-free. These will make readback, dictation, and computer translation simpler. And that's it. That will be our last discussion for this video. So thank you so much, everyone. I hope to see you in my next uh, video in my standard real-time theory series. Um, Happy learning. Enjoy learning. God bless everyone. Bye.